Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting because that that's one of the things that where I mean, my, my sense of what the the challenge in the mainstream is is that there's an embedded assumptions about children and about about it's not a conscious thing, but it's it's you know they have these assumptions about motivation and the ex external as if motivation is external to the children themselves and therefore they have to do things you know reward and punish or or incentivize or <laughs> manipulate in some way or another and so i think that's one of the big challenges and one of the reasons the system operates the way it does uh, is because it you know there's these underlying assumptions about children but i would add that this is not just an assumption this is this assumption is the result of the way schools operate. It's not the cause of the mm -hmm. way schools mm -hmm. operate. If you, if you have the belief that everybody's supposed to learn a certain curriculum, mm -hmm. and they're all supposed to learn the same curriculum, you cannot assume that self-motivation is going to accomplish that. Right, Can't right. possibly. <laughs> no way is everybody in that classroom going to be self-motivated to learn that geography lesson this right, month right. or even this year or even in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm, no way mm -hmm. is that going to occur. So self-motivation is simply impossible in a standard right, right. school. Now you can, there, there's a different way of defining self-motivation and even within self-determination theory, which is the one thing I don't like about self-determination theory is because mm. it confounds two different kinds of self-determination too often. Mm. I mean, the, if you read the original writings, it, it separates them, but too many people confound them. One way of self-determination is the one that I'm talking about, which is determine what you are going to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other is, I am self-motivated, self-determined to do the things that the structure is telling me I have to do. <laughs> mm, right, right. And so self-determination within public schools often is the difference between the kid who doesn't need to be reminded to do his homework <laughs> mm -hmm, uh, because mm -hmm. he is self-determined to do his homework. Mm. Whether there may be various reasons for that self-determination, maybe right, ambition, right. maybe in some cases, it's actual interest in the homework, right, but most right. often it's not. Most often it is, I want to get A's. I want to get into a great college. I want to be the good kid. <laughs> I want to do this. And I and so I internalize this. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. no teachers have to crack a whip over me. No parents have to keep reminding me to do my homework because I am self-motivated to do it. Right, That's right. very different from saying, yeah. as my son did in school, uh -huh, right. I am, have zero interest <laughs> in doing what you're telling me to do. Right, right. That's boring to me. It's irrelevant to my life. I want to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and well, you're gets, not letting me do it. Yeah, that gets at one of the kind of central, I think one of the most counterintuitive central findings in all of psychology is the power of the situation is you know how do people conform to the situations in which they are and 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 the counterintuitive part is is the the idea that our disposition or personality or something in us our our intuition and and the assumption is, is that's very powerful and then you know the the all the compliance research shows well no not really <laughs> the situation is far more powerful than our intuitions would let us lead us into and so that's why i think that there's a really important, uh, you know, that, that distinction you're making about someone who finds value in the, in the system, you know, tunes into it and and goes on. And then you have your son who did not find value in that way of organizing the situation. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.